Good morning, America. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Whatever time it is, wherever you at in America. Well, anyways, what's up, my YouTube family? So on race time today, we have a big mess out of Houston, Texas. Rapper you guys. by the name of Travis Scott, who pretty much is getting slapped in the face with a whole bunch of lawsuits. First off, and most importantly. Let's send our prayers out to the families and the people who lost their so lives. This is supposed to be a regular rap concert, you guys. And the news that I was getting at first, I thought it was some type of massacre, like what took place in Las Vegas. Because all I'm hearing is eight people got killed, oh. lots of other people injured, broken ankle, oh. all types of stuff from head to toe, cardiac oh. arrest. I was like, wow, what the heck is going on? So I had to go do my own research and figure out what was going on. But basically, it was just a crowd surge, which is meaning he was on stage and, you know, I guess as they got more litty, things got more crowd started to push towards the stage and started to trampede on people. People started falling. And then I guess, you know, people don't realize and then they see a body or they might not see the body and they trip over that body. Now it's two people on the basically, ground. At the end of the day, eight people lost their lives in this event. They went to go party. And then they left the Which is a sad story because at the end of the day, that's what nobody really went to a concert for. It's kind of hard to point fingers at anybody. You know, of course, they're going to go after the entertainer, promoters, and everybody else who organized the event and try to sue them for money. But at the end of the day, it's really the people that's there. It's just a concert. It's, it's just a concert with a person that has talent, a superstar. These teenagers nowadays and these kids idolize these these figures and they get so excited and then things like this happen. Lord, that it was drugs around. It looked like a big old rave party. But you know how it goes with these youngsters and, and, and nowadays. So anyways, let's jump into the video and, and let's see what they got to say, you guys. It's more injured when the crowd surged as Travis Scott was on stage. We're learning more about the victims as Scott himself speaks out. Marcus Moore, live in Houston with more on the investigation. Good morning, Marcus. Oh, Robin, good morning. You can see that growing memorial just outside the concert venue behind me. The, the brother of one of the people who was trampled to death said that you come to concerts to have a good time, not to die. This morning, grieving exactly. are asking what went wrong here and who's accountable. This morning, multiple lawsuits against Travis Scott, Live Nation, and even rap superstar Drake filed after the Astroworld Music Festival in Houston turned deadly. <laughs> Officials launching a criminal investigation into the chaotic... But it is a responsibility on the artist's side because uh, it is your event. If you know you're going to have 50,000 people at your event, you should want to make sure that everything is lined up right and you just got everything in line so things like this won't take place so you won't get in trouble because you know how people is out there man you got you got them ezels that's gonna trip and fall they're gonna do it on purpose and make it seem like it's an accident but in this event right here is uh, people really lost their lives man so you you know you know the consequences behind that people dead and many others hurt <laughs> 50,000 fans gathering to see rapper Travis Scott, a Houston native and Astroworld founder, perform. As he took to the stage around 9.15 p.m., the crowd, as seen in this Apple Music live stream, pushing their way forward, forcing people into the barricades. Our barricade even started to break, and the security had to come over to us and, like, start strapping the rails. People unable to move, some collapsing to the ground. 19-year-old Quentin Savage was trampled on while trying to pull his brother out of a human body pile. I was telling people, like, there are dead bodies over there. And wow. Crowd chanting, stop the show. Scott still performing throughout the chaos. In this video, a seemingly unconscious man is carried through the crowd as Travis Scott looks on nearby. At one point, Scott even seemingly acknowledging an ambulance on the scene. It's an ambulance in the whoa, whoa. He noticed some people were like passed out. But as he resumed, fans are hurt pleading for help. <laughs> this woman climbing the stage platform, pleading with the camera crew to stop the show and help. A security guard lost consciousness. This is so chaotic. This is wild, y'all. Can y'all believe all this took place at a concert? Man, what is the world coming to? But um, and this doesn't look good with this footage and people screaming for help and that woman got on there and 
tried to bring awareness to what's going on and nobody's paying attention. Yeah, I don't know, by, Travis Scott. By 9.38 p.m., police declaring the scene a mass casualty incident. Shortly after, Scott pausing his song Skeletons to acknowledge someone in distress. We need somebody to help him. Somebody passed out right here. But police and medics seem tending to fans even as the show carries on for nearly 40 more minutes. Mr. Chaos, Drake joins Scott on stage. Mr. Chaos. These images from the night on his... <laughs> the news reporter called Drake Mr. Chaos. I mean, well... It is a lot of that is a lot of chaos. I, I can't even argue him. And and Drake is controversial. We all know it's Drake. It's devastated. And I could never imagine anything like this just happening. The 30-year-old Scott addressing the tragedy to his 43 million fans on Instagram. My fans really mean the world to me, and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. Kylie Jenner, who he shares daughter Stormy with, commenting, "Quote." I want to make it clear we weren't aware of any fatalities until the news came out after the show and in no world would have continued filming or performing. We will always celebrate you. You're in heaven, mijo. Memorials honoring the victims with flowers and grieving notes. He was talking to everyone how excited he was to be there and to go. And he was saving up money to go with his best friend, Jacob, who also had passed away. Among those who Whoa, died, crazy, you died. So, just that story alone, this this young man was saving up money to go to this concert, went to the concert, and also his best friend tagged along, and they both got stampede to death. That's wow. Patino, both 21, and 23 year old Rudy Pena, along with Jacob Jarenic. And 23-year-old Arturo Sanchez was also in that crush of people, suffering a heart attack during the melee. A nurse who didn't want to be identified saved his life. Oh my God, I'm so happy. We were there as the one strangers reunited for the first time since the tragedy. A heart attack? I helped three others, but it's it's kind of a, like a prioritization. Yeah, sorry, but not sorry, Travis Scott. Man, I don't. I like your music, you know, but I don't think I'll be going to one of your concerts. But anyways, just real quick, um, Astral World is something that he created in his which hometown. It's a big music festival, which um, something good for the city. It started off good a couple years ago, but as the world gets more chaotic, everything in the world gets chaotic. We can't even go to concerts no more without have to worrying about dying. These are the people who survived. The Houston mayor is vowing a thorough investigation into what happened at this event. A concert goer who suffered broken ribs and multiple broken bones filed a million dollar lawsuit Sunday against Travis Scott, Live Nation, and show organizers referencing chaos at other Travis yeah, Scott concerts. Yeah, some people are going to get paid for sure. History has repeated itself, and we and hope that by people? this lawsuit and the many other lawsuits that are guaranteed to follow, that Travis Scott and other artists like him understand. Jeez. Concert goers want to be safe. We heard from so many people who were at this concert event and they were talking about the, the crush of people and how they literally were fighting for their lives to get out of that crowd. Robin, they said that this simply should not have happened. Now, once Thank again, you. I'm going to say it again. Um, It's 50-50, man. I'm pretty sure them people is going to win the lawsuit because of they was at, you know, these right. people event. Who? That's that's crazy, man. Prayers for the people that lost their lives. I know that's a sucky way to lose your life to go out there and, and you know, want to have fun. Get ran over by human beings. Once again, man, prayers for them people. Prayers for the family members because I know that's just hard to understand and hard to put together and, like, you know, that's the last thing that you would think that would happen to you or even your loved ones during them concerts you know you got to be vaccinated and all that man is it really worth it i know it probably is for your youngsters but us adults out there i think we're a little bit too old for that man catch me on the next one y'all